of uh, Matt Linehan's day today? I feel like he had a real good day. You know, he had a couple. He had a couple of things that maybe could have done things better, but he made a lot of big plays. You know, and I'm not sure what the yards were, but he made a whole bunch of plays. I think we had 10 touchdowns. And I think he was part of probably seven of them. So I thought he did a lot of good things. For uh, for Jake Luton, when you've looked at the film of him over the spring, how do you think he's dealing with he's with really pressure? Improved. You know, he's really improved. It's kind of like. It's kind of like I remember when Jarius Wright who plays in the NFL now was with me at Arkansas and he was a freshman. He would play so good and play so hard and always make more plays than there was two other true freshmen during the week. But on Saturday, it took him about five weeks into the season before he made plays. Jake has made huge strides the last two weeks during the week. Do you see him getting a lot more decisive on yeah, his throws? And, he just, and then he just kind of has a couple of tough breaks at times in the scrimmages. But he's really improved. Really improved. What do you think about Isaiah and Aaron? It was good, you know. It was you never want to see anyone ever go out, but I thought as I thought as the day went on, both Duck and and, and you know Sonny both got really hard to get better and better. So it was, you don't want to see Penny go out, but now that you find out he's okay, it was a good thing. Those two got a bunch of reps and, and actually played well and had some had some the the one run Isaiah had down here was a great run. And, and Duck had a couple nice runs too. So I thought they both did some good things. Seems like we talked about it almost at every practice. We thought some Desmond today. Those drops were early in practice. Did you kind of take them aside and be like, hey, that, that's not you, man? And he, you know, Des, he goes 100 miles an hour all the time, so he definitely didn't want it to happen. But uh, sometimes you drop him. You just got to keep battling and keep fighting, and then he came back and made. I mean, I don't know. What did he have? 300 yards? I mean, he had a bunch of yards this year. Yeah. A little connection with Desmond Epps today. Is he just completely wide open all the time? Yeah, right? <laughs> that kid's always open. I mean, he tells me that every play, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm aware Des is open. But you know what? The kid's a playmaker. I mean, I'm, I trust him. You know, every play he's in, no matter what he's running, he's gonna make it happen. He's just one of those kids who's a gamer. He's gonna come out and play 100% every play. That's why I love the kid to death. Man. I feel like the defense kind of settled down in the later portion of the scrimmage, and like got wide open in the game. I think they did, and I think you know we've had a couple, there's a couple injuries out there. I think we're missing Brock today. You know, the rest of was out, so I think you know when guys go down, other guys got to step up. We had that, that happen on offense, so and uh, in that case, you know, I'm I'm excited about our defense. They're way better than they've ever been since I've been here. And I think you know there's plenty of playmakers to step up in the absence of others. And I think they, towards the middle scrimmage, they started to show that. I feel like at, at this point of spring, coach is maybe getting on you a little more because he just expects more out of you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm expecting that. It's it's just who he is, you know. It's and I've been, he told me he's going to do that, and it's you know just to kind of you know get me ready, you know, prepare mentally for you know. Hey, it's not always great when games happen. I learned that last year. It's not always going to be perfect. It's got to be ready to step, you know, move on, you know, accept the accept the coaching point, embrace it, and then get to the next play. Uh, he's done a great job with me this spring, and just kind of teaching me and continue to. You know, use the experience from last year and, you know, really make me understand the offense more and more and see the defense better. And he's he's been really great this spring. And, you know, he gets on me, but, you know, I'm used to it at this point. It's, you know, just part of, part of practice. What do, you, what do you see Jake at compared to, you know, the first spring practice? Oh, he's way better. I mean, Jake, Jake, I mean, with how many reps we get, you're going to get better. I mean, with how much he sees, you know, he's, he's checking things. I mean, stuff, kind of how I progressed my first year learning the offense. You know, I mean, I don't. I didn't know where the tight end lined up when I first got here and all that stuff. Now he's making check. I mean, he's he's we've gotten so much better, and we've made each other better. And I think that's what's been great about having him. You know, just continuing to push me and you know, having that competition between us. And you know, the more as spring progresses, it, you know, the better our friendship gets, and the more we, you know, the better we play out here, which is great. And I think he's been, you know, instrumental in making me better. It got waved off, but if it was a real game, would you have caught Dorian down there? Of course. I mean, I'm, I, I, I consider myself the fastest kid on this team. It's not, you know, by like, if I ran a 40, I'd still run a 4 3, 4 2, maybe. And time, but still, I think, you know, if we go out there, I'll beat everybody in the race. I'm fully confident in my ability about that. So that wasn't your fastest there then, huh? Mm. Yeah, I, you know, like, some kids need a confidence boost sometimes. I feel like Dorian's, like, you know, you know, I don't want to embarrass him out here. It's really nice of you. As a, as a whole, how do you think you're doing? You, know, you guys are one week left. Man, one week. <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh, you know, I think we're all coming along nice, and everybody can't wait for the spring game. The D line can't wait for three and outs. We can't wait to, you know, just give it all that we got and then have that, you know, that, that finale get to come off the field when we stop, you know. So, you know, 
We'll wait for that. First defensive score of the scrimmage. That was nice. Yeah, two of them today. Uh, Dorian and Isaiah. So, you know, that's what we need. We need uh, big plays from the cornerbacks and safeties. You know, they're coming along great, too. What are you seeing out of 20 just coming off the other edge? <laughs> Twenty's gonna be good. Twenty's gonna be real good. You know, all we gotta do is work on the camera. That's me, Ryan, and Twenty. You know, doing this uh, for three hours straight is it, tough. So we really gotta, you know, give it all we got while we can, and then get out. But Twenty, he's gonna be a monster. And you mentioned the spring game. But what do you guys want to accomplish on Friday? You mean, you know, the last time you see each other for a couple months. What we want to accomplish is for the offense not to score one touchdown. Simple as that. I mean, they can run the ball, they can get close as much as they want to. We want them to score it all. So, I mean, that's my goal. My last spring game, no scores. Great, thanks, Quinn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks.